Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Croft Studios here, and today I'm going to be showcasing a art project that I recently worked on for my uh, one of my 3D art classes. And today I made a little framework right here. Basically, it just showcases different textures and things like that. Um, I built it out of Legos, obviously, right here. And it's basically a stand that swivels around, it pivots, and uh, you can have, there's little flaps on the front of it, basically, that open it up, and you can, it reveals different textures and things like that. So we'll get a close-up look on it. Okay, so moving into this thing, it's uh, not the most sturdy model in the world from the looks of it, but it's actually not bad. You can see rotating it around. I used some Technic and some weird techniques up there. Um, the Technic parts definitely were hard to put on here and just make it work, but I did end up making it work with a bit of effort. Um, but you can see there's different textures on the front of this. All of them are different. Some of them are just like, this is just from a grocery bag. This is like a fuzzy surface. This is a sticky surface, so it's got some stuff stuck to it. There's a flat surface right here, kind of like the back of a business card, and this is just regular Legos. And basically the feature is that you can like flip these over and reveal different textures. Um, so like this would be set up maybe in like a grocery store or something like that, or like a, um, a Home Depot uh, texture or like a flooring section, maybe something along those lines. And you can just feel the different textures to see which one you like the most. Um, that's just an example, wouldn't necessarily be that. I, I tried to make it in the frame of a like a computer screen of sorts um, because I feel like modern generations um, tend to do better with things that look like technology even if they're not um, but you can see the front of that one turning this one over we've got like a paper towel right there and um, they're pretty easy to flip over you can see it stays together pretty well like even if you move it around it's not going to break on you um, these top ones also flip around there's like a really fuzzy one right here this one flips around to, this is toilet paper, I think, which is super in demand right now. And then uh, flipping this one over, we have just some paper, uh, kind of like a weird tile feel to it, maybe if you were feeling it like a wall. Um, another feature with this is that it actually swivels as well. So maybe you could put it in the middle of like a circular table and people could spin it around, take a look at it um, from different angles and things like that. Um, but the actual model looks pretty cool. It's kind of sleek. Um, I thought it looked really cool. I, I made the angle the pieces um, on the bottom of this model. You can see that right there. The angles of the pieces go outward on both sides, so making them connect in the middle was pretty tough. Also making it so this stand held up in general was really tough. I had to put a big Technic tube going through it. Um, so it was a fun model to make for sure. It didn't take super long time. It was just for an art project that I recently did. Um, this is one long pole going through the middle as well. You can see how it kind of like is bending it because it's super heavy, um, but it did work out. You can see one of these little clicker joints right here that spins it around. I think the model is pretty cool overall. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, the overall look of it and some details on it and how I built it because I thought you guys would be interested in it. So let's move on to the conclusion of this video. All right, guys, so that's basically it for this model right here. I just wanted to show you showcase this model to you guys because I thought it was an interesting build. And uh, it was just something that I came up with for an art project. And it's not really like a super huge deal. It's not like one of those art colleges where it's like, oh, you have to be, uh, have the best portfolio in the world or anything like that. Uh, but it is something that I wanted to work on and show you guys. And I thought it was an interesting uh, idea for a project. So tell me what you think in the comments below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some more stuff coming out for you guys soon, including Super Smash Bros. Lego stuff. If you guys heard about the Lego Mario stuff coming out, I'll definitely be getting some of those um, for sure because I've been wanting Lego Mario stuff for a long time. But I'm excited to show you guys some new stuff soon. Um, content's been a little bit slow due to college and things like that. But I'm excited to get back into it if as long as I have time. So hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thanks for watching. And I'll be back at you soon with another video.